Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to bring you up my electric pumpkin head. There's a offshoot of the famous pumpkin head, very sparkly little guy here, catches the attention of a lot of fish and uh, it's a pretty cool one to tie as well. You can change up the color combinations but this is one of my favorites. To start we're going to be using a streamer hook in a size 8, 3x long. I'm going to put some hot orange beads on there, size medium. The tail I'm going to use a crosscut rabbit strip and an olive. And then the body we're going to use some ice stub. We're going to blend this up while well, we're going to kind of blend it in a wire in a brush. So I'm going to use some ice stub holographic olive for kind of an accent. I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, UV light olive, a little bit of orange. It's kind of a really nice orange color in the, and a UV hot orange on the front. This is more of a sunburst color, yellow, and here they call it orange. So let's get a hook in the vise. Tie one of these up. Got my bead on the hook here already. I'm going to come in with a little O2O 2 lead just to hold my bead in place. Do about 10 turns or so. We'll give lots, we'll give lots of undulation. This, this fly here really catches the attention. It's, it's bright, got a little movement to it. Looks really good in the water. Just gonna use some black 6 aught thread here. Tie most more flies with that. Make sure thread or lead don't move back and the bead will stay tight. It's good. You can use uh, marabou on the tail. I like to use uh, rabbit a lot of times. It really breathes good. Nice little pinch off that. Get a good guard here. Grab by the tips and just pull a little of that under fur out. The guard hairs will swim really nice. I don't go too long a tail on this one. As you can see, I like it nice and neat. I'm not going to see a lot of that anyway after I get my uh, body done. Now we'll bring in some extra fine bright silver wire to do our brush. You're going to need a wire brush table. If you don't have a rotary vise like this one, you can get a dubbing block. And you can make a lot of really nice flies with that. I recommend you getting one. Throw a little half hitch in, in here. And I'll bring in my dubbing table and my nor vise. My fly down here. Got my thread on the table there. Very good. Now I'll just start putting the colors on the way I want them. I want a little of this uh, holographic all the way through my fly, so I'm gonna just go across the whole length of the uh, thread here with a little bit of a little bit of the ice tub holographic. I like that little bit of glint in there, extra metallic coloration. Back, I'll just throw in a little bit of a pinch of this light olive, kind of. Get it out in long strings. Something really long, it'll, it'll brush out or we can put it a little later, that's fine. Okay, I'll do that. Then I'm going to come in here with my orange. This is like to say more of a sunburst orange or yellow coloration. It's got a really nice. Come in here for the center. And on the front, bring in some orange. This is just a UV orange here. It's going to kind of blend in with the uh, bead on the front. A little ac accent on the front. And I just I do this very sparse on the dubbing block. As you can see, I'll just turn that over for you. Very little on there. Okay. Bring my wire over the top. Before I do that, you help just a little bit of a tip. This will stay on the wire and the brush pretty pretty easily, but if you have trouble with it slipping out, just throw a little not a little dubbing wax along your wire. That'll just help everything 
and stay in place a little easier for you to handle. If you had your dubbing block, of course, which is just basically a wooden block with a couple little hoops on the end there. And you can spin that and make these brushes. I like making a lot of brushes. Very strong. You can blend materials up. There's just so many possibilities. Now you can see the coloration I've got. Light green. A little bit of orange coming in there with my holographic and then the orange in the front. Now we're just going to brush this out. Get a good stiff brush. And I get my fibers coming off the wire. Nice. Looks pretty good. This one's going to be a little bit more sparse than that one I showed you in the picture. My first one. I start at the rear. And I start pulling these fibers back. And I just work them as I preen them as I go build my fly up. Keep them kind of flowing to the front. You're going to have to brush it out too, but it's going to help get all these fibers kind of poking out where they want to be. It takes a little time to put it on this way. I don't get in too big a rush now because this is going to really build me a really nice profile. And there's my colors coming in. And uh, it's a very eye catching pattern for these rainbows. You can fish this anywhere. Streams, rivers, wherever you want to go. Change the color sizes. This is a real good color, the pumpkin head. As we all know, a lot of many anglers, fish lakes swore by the pumpkin head, the nice orange front. Glass bead, I'm just using an orange weighted bead head on it. There, now we'll come in. I'm going to just bring my vodka needle. Try to get any long fibers poking out. So by printing it, I've already got the job pretty much done. I don't have too much trapped in there at all. I'll just take my big brush in here and bring it back. That is a really easy, durable fly. It looks really good in the water. It's not too loud. It kind of blends back into that olive at the tail here. It's got a nice, bright uh, front on it. So there it is, my little electric pumpkin head. So hope you get that one on your vise. Take that to the water next year. Let me know how it works for you. I know you're going to be very, very happy with it. So thanks again for watching.